Hey guys, welcome to Dedicated. My name is Andy and in this video I want to show you how to convert a tub drain into a shower drain. This is part of my bathroom remodel series video that I'm doing where I'm taking my guest bathroom and fully remodeling everything all by myself. To follow along, hit that subscribe button and if you want to see the content that I already posted, check out the cards or the links in the description below. Uh, let's begin. So typically a bathtub drain looks like this. Unfortunately, I didn't record how I removed it, but I just took a hacksaw and just cut that off. As you can see right there, I have it off. Also, to make things easier, I decided to keep the drain closer towards the wall. That way I don't have to modify the concrete. And I got this nice square drain at uh, Home Depot, I believe, but you can find them on Amazon. I'll have the links below. And I basically plumbed it out to where I have enough space away from the wall for the drain to have like a little slope there. Very first thing I did was dry ran everything and make sure I was fine with the way it looked before starting the gluing process. So I took the gray piece from the drain and found appropriate fittings to convert it to where it gives me the lowest profile possible. And then as you can see, I already glued one of the conversion pieces to make it into a, a proper size socket. And then I used a pipe by socket 90. That way I don't have to have actual pipe in that between and that helps with keeping that fitting and the drain low profile so it's closer to the ground that was the purpose of using that particular fitting i used hot medium blue lava pvc cement for gluing the pipe now make sure that you follow your state code or whatever building code and follow the proper gluing procedures again I'm just doing this for myself, so, and I'm not a professional plumber, so don't take my advice in how to properly glue the PVC. But I've used this in the past and it works great. It cures really fast and I like it, so that's why I'm using it. Then I continued gluing that small piece of pipe that I already had pre cut, and then I glued a 90 to the bottom uh, where my drain is coming up. And finally glued the piece of pipe with the fittings to that remaining 90 that's attached to the ground. And I made sure that it was properly leveled before the glue started to dry in case I needed to make any minor adjustments. And that's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.